really the first really big feature yes, that you've done. Sure. Had some very big names in, Sir sure. Alec Guinness and Peter Cushing. How oh. did you feel working with them? Well, I, <laughs> I was just staggered. I thought, I, there's no way I can actually meet this man, much less appear in the same scene with him. I'm speaking of Sir Alec because, unfortunately, I never had a scene with Peter Cushing. Mm -hmm. But uh, he was surprised because I went to work two days just to watch Peter Cushing work, even though I didn't work with him. And yeah. I'm a fan at heart. I had him sign a couple of posters. Oh, that's nice. But... You didn't get any scenes with him, but you got to meet him, and I hear it was pretty cool. Peter Cushing. Peter Cushing. Well, when I realized I didn't have any scenes with Governor Moff Tarkin, I said, I've got to come to work when he's working. And I was on yeah. two separate days. I was able to go and I observed, you know, like on set and they introduced us and then uh, he had a long period where they didn't need him and we went up into his dressing room and, and I was able to, first of all, he was really surprised that I knew that he had been in a Laurel and Hardy film. He oh, was in a chump at Oxford. Really? when he was probably in his early 20s. Okay. Because Chunt of Oxford, I, I think, is around 1940, 1941. He also told me his very first film was in um, The Man in the Iron Mask. That was his first film? His first film, and, and you know, The Man in the Iron Mask, one actor played twins. So whenever Leslie Howard was doing his on-camera, Cushing was off camera, then they'd come around and they'd switch parts. Right. And he said it could, I said, that must have been frustrating, you know, to be so close to being in a movie, but then being cut out of it. He said, it couldn't have been more perfect because I didn't have any of the pressure. I yeah. learned technique. I learned how to find my marks without looking down, find my lighting. It could have been better. And I said, why didn't you stay? I mean, you really had some momentum going because besides those two films he did, uh, some other work while well, World War II broke out, and he's a patriot, yeah. and he went back to England uh, to, uh, to put, you know, join the war effort. God bless him for But I mean, I was a huge, like I told you, I loved all of his Hammer horror films, and this guy, I mean, he could play everything from Sherlock Holmes to an evil Baron Frankenstein. I mean, there's no uh, limits on his ability. Yes. What what a great actor, and again, just a fantastic gentleman. I always wondered why he had this lavender glove, and his <laughs> dresser told me, yes. he said, well, because when he smokes, he doesn't want to get the, the nicotine and... or, or this fragrance on his fingers and transfer when he shakes your hand. Yes. I thought, oh my God, we don't have anybody that polite in America. <laughs> People are smoking cigars in elevators.